everybody and welcome back to another episode of How to Minecraft. I am so, so excited for this video because uh, as the title suggests, I am gonna be getting every single music disc in Minecraft. And we're gonna be doing it easy. I have a technique of getting every single music disc in Minecraft that should, once I implement the build, once we, once we actually make the build, and once, uh, you know, it actually goes off, should only take us seconds to get every music disc in Minecraft. Seconds. Get every music disc in Minecraft in seconds. Will it work? I don't know yet, because I haven't actually made it. This is a theory that I have. I haven't watched a single other YouTuber video to see if this theory is correct. We're gonna do it live, and hopefully it will work and you guys can use this too in your world. So, the theory. In Minecraft, you can collect music discs whenever a skeleton kills a creeper. It could be a stray or it could be a normal skeleton. And then they will drop a random music disc when that skeleton kills the creeper. But, you know how sometimes when you're fighting someone and like you hit them with your sword and then they jump off a cliff and then they die and it says, so and so died whilst fighting me or whatever. Um, Minecraft has a way to kind of trace the, um, the, the killing blow back to the original owner. So, using that... It is possible to have a skeleton shoot TNT with a flaming arrow, set the TNT on fire, causing the TNT to explode, killing creepers, and because the skeleton was the one to shoot the arrow that set the TNT off, the creepers will die to the skeleton even though they were killed by the TNT. So if my theory is correct, uh, I should be able to get basically every, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna pack that area full of creepers that the TNT is gonna explode. We should be able to get basically every music disc with one TNT explosion. All we need to do is create a build that has a skeleton that will shoot an arrow through lava, setting the arrow on fire, hitting TNT, causing the TNT to fall, blowing up. I don't know, 30, 40, 100 creepers. And then we'll have, you know, 100 music discs and most likely they are all going to be, you know, we're gonna have this, a separate amount that will, you know, we, we'll get every single music disc with that one explosion. With the exception of pig step. Uh, so that is one, one little caveat, little asterisk is that uh, we will not be able to get pig step this way. Pig step is, is different. You do need to go to the nether and find that in a bastion. Uh, and so that's, that's that. Do I even have pig step? Oh no, we might have to fix this. I remember getting pig step at one point. By the way, I have a lot of 13. <laughs> not sure why that's the disc that I have a lot of, but I have a lot of that one. I don't, I don't have pig step. I swear that I got this thing. Okay, well, that should be, it should be <laughs> relatively simple to get picked step because I, I, I know where the Bastion Remnants are. I died last time I was in those. I'm literally looking everywhere. I don't see this disc. I swear that I got this before. Well, I'm going to take a quick jaunt, uh, hopefully it's quick, and see if we can get pig step. Found a Bastion Remnant. Huh? Oh, I should probably have some gold on, shouldn't I? That's right, but whatever. Ooh, ancient debris. Don't mind if I do. Ah. Ah, diamond. Dang it. I was hoping that that would be the chest I needed. Getting flashbacks. Getting flashbacks the last time that I died. Yeah, death loop so many times. I don't like it. <gasps> found it woo uh, we got it that is awesome so now <laughs> I can work on all the others 
So I just got back. I have deposited my disc inside of this chest right here. And we are going to start off by getting a skeleton. We need a skeleton for this build. And so while it's still dark, I'm gonna search around for a skelly that I can keep. Oh, look, I uh, came over here at one point to um, get out of here to, uh, ah! To get okay, well, this is this is a great area. Uh, we're gonna name all of these skeletons. We're gonna name you, and we're gonna name you, and we're gonna name you, and then let's see which ones we can actually lure to keep. I'm just making sure that there's not any other creepers or something that's gonna come up on me. Let's get rid of this zombie. Get out of here. Thank you. And see if I can get these guys in a hole. Okay, we got this gold guy inside of the hole, which is fantastic. So we'll just hop out of here and cover him up because he will burn in the daylight. And let's get started on the next part of our build. Actually, there's this guy who's a little bit closer to where I eventually want to build. So I might try to get this skeleton here. One shot, all the mobs. Okay, come on. You got, I've named them Disc Generator, which I personally think is very funny. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be day. You gotta, you gotta run. Otherwise you're gonna burn. Okay, we have our skeleton here. I think it's time to get the inside. Uh, there we go. Ah, see, this is what I told you. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? And I'm about to die. So, my idea is that once we get the skeleton in place, I'm gonna use my already made creeper grinder and creeper farm to supply this build with a lot of creepers. I may have a few arrows in me. <laughs> oh my gosh. In fact, to be honest, this might work fantastically. We are just gonna continue to use this creeper situation and we're just gonna block off where they normally die to lava, they'll just end up right here, chilling out. Then when they die, we can use this water flow to collect all of their discs in the hoppers that are just right there. So now all I need to do is get the skeleton in an area that it will shoot through lava, hitting TNT, causing it to fall, and uh, blowing these guys up. The TNT should land in the water, which will mean that it will not destroy any of the blocks. When TNT explodes in water, it will not break any blocks. Uh, it'll only hurt things. So this might actually work out perfectly. Okay, so I've made this whole thing out of glass, which in retrospect makes it a little bit difficult to see and understand. But basically, we have this chute right here. And this is just a four by four or two by two hole creating the four spaces. That grass block will represent the TNT that I will eventually put in that spot. I'm gonna stand right here. And normally when a, uh, when a skeleton shoots at something, it shoots it a little bit high. So my hope is that one of the arrows is going to end up hitting the top of this, or the bottom of this, uh, TNT block and then fall into the hole. We may have to sit here on fire for a little bit. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna switch this out for water. And now I'm just gonna be chilling out in water the whole time so the fire won't affect me. So hopefully a random shot will go into this TNT causing it to fall. There will be a lava da -da -da -da, right here, which will flow down and I've created a little place to catch it and to make sure that it doesn't overflow so now we have lava and then our uh, little skeleton it's right there at the moment will be hopefully right here which I, I need to work on getting that skeleton in there uh, at the moment and then they will fire that direction at me hopefully hitting the TNT and the creepers down there so now I'm taking time to work on getting the skeleton over here, and I'm gonna try to use a boat to do it. Now it's kind of making a roof so that it wouldn't burn up in the sun, but it's 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 almost nighttime. So that actually might help me a lot in moving this guy because then I can just kind of have him easily pop into the boat. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's dark enough. Let's go. Hope you don't get a sunburn. Come on out and jump in one of these beautiful boats I got for you. Perfect. 
I'm moving ya! Your little arrows can't even hit me, cuz that's how Minecraft works in Java Edition. Let's move you, my friend. Okay, so I got him pretty close, but unfortunately, I can't get him directly in. So I'm gonna have to, like, block this all up and then kind of move him in as close as I can. Get close, get close. There we go, and then we are gonna hit the boat, and hopefully you go into that back corner over there. No, not right here. Okay, well, I gotta regenerate some health. Okay, over there. Over there, little disc generator. Okay, no, not here. Step back, there we go, perfect. There we go, and, and we're there. Make sure your skeleton has a roof, otherwise he will burn up in the sun. Let's test his shooting ability. Look at that! That would have set off the TNT if that was TNT. This is perfect, this is amazing. So, now all we need to do is have some creeper spawn. Oh look, there's two already. And we should have, you know, a, a perfectly working disc generator. I'm gonna actually make it day because that'll stop all the other spawns and we'll only get creeper spawns. Oh, another thing I need is TNT because as soon as I fly away, these creepers are gonna despawn. So I need to have TNT with me in order to have this work. Spawn creepers. Spawn. Spawn my little discs. Yes. Yes, I can see them now. All of my little discs right there. This is amazing. Okay, if everything is correct, if I have everything correct, I can use this over and over and over again because the TNT will not blow up my build. So, even though we don't have a ton of creepers spawning right now, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. And we'll see. We'll see if this will work. I just realized one thing that might mess up. A, the TNT could go like flying, like crazy. Uh-oh, my creepers just despawned. I just saw some despawn right then. Um, but also possibly the TNT could be pushed underneath that block by the flowing water. Anyway, we'll, we'll just deal with it. Okay, we are getting rid of that. Goodbye. Placing that down. Hey, hit me. I mean, don't actually hit me. Hit the TNT. Hit the TNT. Please, like the first time you hit the TNT, that'd be great. Do I need to be a little higher? Like up here? Oh, shoot up here. No, come on, hit it. Got it. <gasps> there it goes. Uh-oh, see that was kind of what I was afraid of. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, okay, so I had a good reason to be afraid of that. Oopsie, I was afraid. So what happened was the TNT, oh no, there goes, oh my gosh, there goes like everything. So the TNT went over the hoppers that I had and the hoppers aren't in the water. And so it blew up all of my hoppers. Rip, a lot of gunpowder. <laughs> I think the best way to stop this from happening is by putting half blocks there and, is that just open? Okay, yeah. And then there. Oh, and these are missing now. Okay, so that will not um, allow the items to fully go to these hoppers, but that's okay because my build shouldn't blow up. <laughs> Next time. We're gonna try this again with less creepers. Okay, there it goes. Boom goes the dynamite. Oh my. Okay, it exploded. Did we actually get a disc? <gasps> we did! It'll work! Oh my gosh. That is crazy exciting. And then it goes in there. Oh my gosh. There is our first disc from this technique. Okay, we are gonna generate a lot more creepers now and try this again. Okay, I can already see a whole bunch of green without even without zooming in on that. So we're gonna head down here and get this started as fast as possible because I was noticing that a lot of creepers were despawning last time, which is frustrating. This is like the most creepers yet. They're all piled in there. And hopefully our, uh, see, look, he hit the top block of what he's aiming, at, at where, where he's at there. How on earth? Is that block necessary? Cause that would totally, that block is not necessary. So I think I'm gonna take that one out of there so that we can hit this TNT a little bit better. I really hope that that's not necessary. Otherwise we're gonna have some lava flowing everywhere. There we go. We got it. It's down there and boom. And do you see all of those 
discs. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's an embarrassment of riches. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's, oh my gosh. Look at how good it worked. The only disc we didn't get from that explosion was Stahl, Strad, and Ward. So we are missing three discs, uh, and that is it. That is incredible. And I think this was the disc that we got that first test try. So even so, we got a ton of other discs, and we can just do this again. At the moment, I don't think we have as many as we did that last round, but we only need three more discs. So I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. This is awesome. We're gonna throw this right there. <laughs> Look how fast this is! Boom! Uh oh. I didn't add the uh, the block back, but it looks like the timing was. I didn't add my blocks to stop the TNT from hitting over there. Hey, that's fine. We're fine. Okay, we are still missing stall, which is the one with the black uh, ring around it. So. Uh, that's the only one we need. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's add this back. There we go. That's in place. That's what I was talking about. I forgot to add that. The amount of creepers that just despawn randomly are really, really annoying. I wish that because I've already seen like half of them despawn just on my way down here. Okay. Round. Is this four? Whoops, that's not where I wanted that. Oh, oh. <gasps> that's not where I wanted that. No! Oh man. Oh, my perfect plan. Oh, great. This is horrible. Okay, we're gonna kind of contain this lava. Stinks, that stinks so much. Okay, I'm still getting it all cleaned up, but. <laughs> Oops, shouldn't have done that. Uh, maybe also uh, in this build, you can kind of tell what I did just a little bit better. Uh, maybe when you're building this, don't build it out of uh, glass. Uh, possibly, um, you know, something like obsidian would work better for you, and uh, then you won't have uh, this problem. So, right here is where I'll be standing. We are going to put the TNT right there, and then this block and the block above it can be taken out so that the uh, skeleton can hit us through the uh, through the glass. And what I had done was I had had this uh, waterlogged, so this... Right here was waterlogged and that way I would not catch on fire over and over and over again and this uh, ladder actually uh, kind of had my back but then I also put it in, in some extra blocks right there. So let's uh, try this again. I found that uh, once I see those first few creepers that I can in general head down this ladder because so many of them start to despawn by the time that I get down there and they're still kind of spawning in there and, and flowing out. So me heading down the first time I see them is, is just fine. This time we are not gonna put the TNT right next to a block that it could sit on and just like hang out. And instead we're gonna put it where it belongs. Hooray, what a, what a novel concept. And I'm really just gonna make sure that I'm there before I even try. There we go. Oh gosh, that scared me. There was, oh, did I mess it up again? Did I forget the little thingies? Oh my gosh, I did. Pick up all the things! No! Ah! Ah! No! No, no, no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Stop it! Stop trying to destroy all my beautiful work! I forgot my things again that need to stop the TNT. <sighs> that is frustrating. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna replace everything and make sure that everything's all good over here. And, you know, we're not gonna have any issues or whatever. Now, one very quick solution that I could have used from the very beginning is instead of having the blocks, and we're just gonna break into here, um, right before those hoppers be solid blocks, I could switch these out with more hoppers. And then that would have solved all my problems because then I wouldn't have to continuously switch out the things to get to the the discs. So now uh, it will just always work for me. And then when I remove these, I've just switched them to trapdoors. But when I remove these trapdoors after I'm done using this as a disc generator, then uh, the water will just flow over that and it'll be fine.
I think. I don't think the creepers will get stuck in that. I might want to pull them out once I transfer this over. But for right now, this will collect all the discs without me having to remember to remove anything. And, by the way, we got stall in that last one. I know that it looks like, uh, you know, a total mess in here. But we ended up getting the one that we were looking for. So, here we are. This is all the music discs that we collected using this method. And... Uh, it's interesting that, you know, we got a ton of these discs and only one of these discs over here. Plus, Pig Step, which we had to find in the nether. So, there we have it. I have so much stuff in my inventory. I actually don't even need to use this whole thing again, so I could actually take this back to how it was. Um, but, we have every disc in Minecraft! And there we have it, folks. Every disc in Minecraft. And these are all in alphabetical order, too, which is kind of nice. So, let's create a jute box, shall we? It takes a diamond, but now we can listen to some sweet, sweet tunes. And I'm going to go ahead and put this jute box with all of the discs inside of my house. I think right here looks perfect, so we're going to plop that down. Put this right next... Wait, 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 wait. That's not right. It, it was facing the wrong direction. Grab it! Stick it in! And jam out to my amazing music. Amazing! We have every disc. So happy. Couldn't be happier. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you in another video. Bye!